what's up guys Ashley here um sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera I'm actually getting off work and go ahead and um I just want to make a quick review about Infinity War so if you haven't seen it yet um I advise turn away because there's going to be spoilers because I'm going to talk about it I'm going to talk about it because basically it was a love hate thing for me for this movie like obviously you know why I hated it but for me hands down the best Marvel movie yet to date I mean just the different stories and how you go from one place to the next it was fantastic it's just and I love how like everybody's world was connected at some point you know and then like they would crisscross and go to another world and they would be together and it was just it was amazing and at the same time it was the worst movie for me and I hated it mainly because like some of my favorite people it's just the way they died like it's just it got my heart like I'm a huge Wanda fan huge Scarlet Witch fan and I, I was nervous going into this movie because I figured it was a possibility that she was gonna die, right? And so, but it's just the way that everyone just vanished and disappeared. The most shocking one for me was T'Challa. Was not expecting Black Panther to die at all. That was huge. And like, I, I, like I've seen the movie twice. I'm still trying to get over it because it's just, I could not believe it. But the original Avengers still stand. But it's just like Spidey died or Iron Spidey. I mean, Galaxy, you know, Gamora's death really got to me. Like, I love Gamora. And so that got to me and it's just, oh my gosh, Doctor Strange. You've got Star-Lord, Groot, Drax. They all just, I don't know, like for me... It was just a shock, a total shock that they would... I can't believe that they would do that. Why would they do that? I mean, it's obvious that they're coming back. They're all going to come back, but just they they have to fix it. We are, you know, Captain Marvel. It's not going to be... Well, Captain Marvel's movie is going to be set prior to Infinity War. And I'm guessing Captain Marvel, uh, towards the end, it's going to have that special scene where she gets the call... Uh, uh, where she gets the distress call, and so uh, then it'll take off where you know because Captain Marvel is going to be in the next Avengers movie, they don't have the title yet because the title is going to give away basically the fate of what's going to happen. But we're we all read the comics, we already know what happens, so it's no secret they're all going to come back. But it's just that why would they do that? Like, are you kidding? Like, I would have rather like maybe see some combat that's like okay so loki got strangled to death so we know that but it's like i mean like and then when stark got stabbed i was like no my heart dropped i was like you cannot kill dr stark i was like he's the key to everything that's what dr strange meant by it had to be done he had to give him the time stone there was no way remember when he went back in time he looked at four, what was it, like four million billion ways to, to win. And he said they only won one. So maybe he already saw the future and saw that, okay, if I give up this time zone, you know, Stark is, is the key to them beating Thanos. So I don't know. It's just that movie. Oh, my goodness. Like, it, I would hate for anyone who didn't see Black Panther to watch this movie first and then go back and see Black Panther because he died. That would just suck. So hopefully everyone saw Black Panther. But we already know. He's got a sequel coming out. Spidey's got a sequel coming out. So we already know. Everyone's going to be fine. But, I, oh my god. I don't know. Galaxy. They've got a new, they've got a, a Galaxy 4 coming. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's Galaxy 3 or 4. I, can't, I haven't been keeping up with that. But, uh, I know they've got another one coming out. And, um, so yeah, basically this, this movie, it really fucked with me and like, I'm still trying to process what actually.
actually happen like it's like is this real like is this what I'm watching like this is the most epic battle ever and it's fantastic but at the same time I'm like whoa I'm blown the fuck away like I said Wanda Maxima aka Scarlet Witch she's my favorite cry like a baby when she died because like like the love that her and Vision have is just I'm so glad that they touched on their relationship because it's fantastic like and then how about the uh um Ikofo uh and um Wanda and uh what's her name damn it Scarlett Johansson's character I cannot think of her name right now but just that three three something I was gonna say three something that epic friendship battle or whatever how they all defended each other and they came to her rescue that scene was epic that is a great combo great great combo and um but yeah I'm still trying to process it this shit really 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 bugs the hell out of me it's just a way it is not that everyone like fought to their death these fuckers just disappeared into dust and that's what made it so fucking like hard to deal with. It's just the way they died. They, you know, Thanos, I knew Thanos was gonna win this battle because there's a part two. So and there's no way that there was no way that it was gonna be finished all in one movie. It's like a fucking Harry Potter thing where you know it's gonna be continued. So but yeah, I'm excited. We've got what do we got coming up? They showed the preview for Venom. That shit's gonna be dope. I'm excited for Venom, I'm excited for Captain Marvel. Uh, I'm excited for Ant-Man. Uh, what's coming up? You've got... Shit. Well, next year we know we've got Captain Marvel. We've got Avengers. Um, and that's and then we got another Galaxy coming up. Um, so I'm excited for that. But other than that, movie was fantastic. Gotta give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Hands down the best damn Marvel movie to date. But at the same time, it was my least favorite because of the deaths. But... It was my, like, basically, like I said, I have a love-hate relationship for this movie. And it's just, oh, loved it and hated it. Because my, you know, like, when people, when your favorites die, it just, it sucks. Like, and everyone was shocked. I think the most shocking one was T'Challa, like I said, and Spidey. That was so sad. So sad. Because he's just a kid. He's so young. And it's just, it, it broke my heart. But other than that, fantastic movie. I, I encourage everyone to go out and see it. Go see it once, twice, three times. I think I'm going to go see it for the third time in a few days. So other than that, it was great. And I'll get back with you guys soon.